Hello, my friends. Uh, Daryl from Hapuchino Life here. I uh, love making tea from the garden. It's quite simple. Uh, I have some mint here, which I planted a couple years ago in a spot that was kind of out of the way and did not need much care. And it has come back every year looking amazing. <clears throat> I have some very simple ingredients for the tea. Um, I spoke earlier about using the borage um, in the tea. Uh, I usually used to mix it with lemon verbena, but here in Seattle, lemon verbena seems to die back every year, as opposed to San Diego, where it becomes a giant, beautiful bush. So I'm going to try it with mint today. So in my hot water, <coughs> that I heat it up. I have washed my mint. And I fold him up, put him in the cup, <coughs> straight into the cup. And I'm going to be using borage. I used the borage leaves in the past. I've not used the entire plant, but today um, I'm going to use some of the flowers. I'll take these leaves off and I've got some a tip here that has some of the flower and some of the future flowers. Um, this plant was in the way, so why not eat it? And then here are some of the flowers that I picked off the plants up there. I have a lot right now, and they are absolutely beautiful and delicious on their own. They taste like uh, sweet cucumber. So if you get a chance to grow some borage. So these flowers, I'm just going to roll into this. I'm going to try to make a little French press barrier, shall we say. Put them on top. <clears throat> and in the Middle East, they simply take mint and pour in, you know, boiling hot water. Um, I have my muddler. Now this, I find, helps to release a lot more flavors. And you will get little pieces of floating plant debris, but that's okay. It's all edible, otherwise you wouldn't be putting it in our tea. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the leaves, it'll kill you. <laughs> We'd have to call this the uh, last sipper. But, nope. And you can feel it crunching down. The flowers are very nutritious as they have a lot of uh, pollen in them and it uh, has a lot of um, vitamins and minerals and good things for you. I'm going to add tea to this, or honey, I mean. <clears throat> I did not grab my honey. I love these little honey bear bottles. Now these are not sustainable. They are plastic, which is not necessarily a good thing, but um, I have one of these and I refill it from jars of honey I buy in glass that is much more better for the environment and myself and people in general. A little honey there and then I can refill my little honey bear from that. I have tried adding cream to mint tea and that does not work at all. Uh, you end up making a curdle mint tea. The cream almost immediately curdles and uh, I'm guessing that has something to do with the mint. Um, and I did try to drink it. I did not enjoy it. Some people may enjoy it or may not. If you do, give it a shot. You know, it might be the next best thing. There you have it. And we'll let this uh, steep, although it smells pretty good right now. Oh, that's pretty good. That's a good combination. So enjoy your morning, enjoy your garden, enjoy your life, and make it what you want. Have an awesome day.